Hello, stranger on the internet, and welcome to my first Touch Designer tutorial ever. Mm, I'm fairly new to Touch Designer, also I'm not a native speaker, uh, which you can probably tell. Um, however, I would suggest you to to consider this tutorial, you know, like an invitation to go on this journey with me, uh, rather than a, like a professional advice. However, we will be building a... a edgy caching kaleidoscope today um, this will look like this it's like basically a like you know repetitive um, texture and what we are doing first is actually implementing a basic kaleidoscopic effect putting an edge over it which is like the most overused um, component or uh, I, I should say operator of mine uh, because I kind of love the effect it's, it gives to, to projects and the contrast. Mm, and I would suggest you to not leave out on, on the edge for now. Um, also, we will be implementing a feedback loop, which is doing pretty much most of the magic. Uh, all right, I'd say let's jump right into it and delete all of this. First of all, we will grab a movie file in top and I'm gonna go for my own video footage you can either download it in the comment section below or you know like make your own footage if you want and trust me there is you can't really make a, make a mistake because almost everything which contains a little bit of movement uh, looks pretty nice with that effect um, next step is adding a transform I'm only adding this to actually scale the height down a bit to give it some air to breathe, you could say. And um, then I will make an, I like, I will set the extent to mirror and start with the kaleidoscope effects by actually implementing a mirror, um, uh, mirror top and animating the rotation by using apps time dot seconds uh, times 12 or something uh, you can you can decide on whatever speed you want to go um, next I'll get the tile operator and set reflect y to on reflect x to on and flip x to on and this gives us, us this basic um you know kaleidoscopic effect also i will be editing the crop top to 0 0.5 to make it like tighter and overlap a bit more mm, and afterwards we can already implement our beloved edge uh, operator uh, and set the alpha to, to 1 to get this uh, black background and now we can already start with um, or wait I'll just add a null for now and call this uh, kaleidoscope Opla. or kaleido and then yet now we can actually start with a feedback loop oops <laughs> that's not the right way to do it uh, and get the feedback top, not the emboss top. All right, I got it. <laughs> um, and now I will add a cache to this, which will be a pretty uh, important operator in uh, considering this effect. Um, and we need to implement the one and only non-top component, which will be a... Uh, mm, a keyboard in which will be set uh, on one by default and you can just leave it like that and then just drag it on the um, resets toggle of your feedback all right now we can add a composite which actually takes uh, two inputs so we will just pipe in our kaleido null into this and 
and drag our composite back into our feedback to actually initiate the uh, feedback loop and set the operation like the blending mode I mean, I, I think those are should be blending modes or operations. I don't know. Um, and pick um, light the color so that it just don't, so that it doesn't disappear. And now go back to your cache and set the cache size to one and the step size to fifth or let's go with forty. Hmm. All right. And now just pipe it into a null and display it and now you actually got the effect i showed you previous previously you can play around with different parameters so you could go to for example to the tile and uh, check the transpose um, parameter here which will actually um, make it look different because the, the like you know the rotation is not going from uh, the center to the outside but rather from the outside to the center now and this gives a pretty different effect you can always reset it with one like pushing the one key and you can see that it's storing the last frame and then uh, resetting um, however you if you would be leaving out this uh, cache operator I can show you it would just, um, you know, like take every frame and uh, leave it on your screen, which will cause like the effects to to get pretty overloaded really quick. So this is a very important component. Uh, yeah, and I would just encourage you to play around with it, uh, try out different stuff, you know, changing the parameters. Um, you can make it audio reactive. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, and yeah, I'd encourage you to play around with it, to get creative, uh, add to it, or yeah, whatever you floats your boat, you know. Um, and I wish you a beautiful day.